caught in the crossfire. Sorry, I'm coming on because I was like, oh, I kind of like talking to people. Plus, I saw this new makeup look by the way of y'all um, for the ladies out there. If you really want a good makeup artist to watch, because I know a lot of people are asking me to do makeup look up. Um, oh, Shannon, I don't think anybody's asking you for your makeup input because you literally use your fingers to put the makeup on. So save yourself your breath on that one. The way of y'all. It's this um, English black man, and he does the most fabulous, intense, amazing makeup looks. And I just, shout out to the way of y'all. I mean, he he's amazing, and his makeup techniques are just on point, okay? Um, if anyone hasn't heard of him, you should. You should. <laughs> Sorry, cat. But, um, I miss doing my makeup vids, too. It's just... I don't have I don't have the makeup I used to. <sighs> Aw, poor Shan Shan doesn't have any makeup left over. All she's got is her hundred dollar freaking palettes, but she doesn't even have concealer. Guys, can you reach into your wallets and send them some money so she can buy herself drugstore makeup? I don't even have like concealer or foundation or powder. So like I couldn't do it if I wanted to. Like I don't I don't I don't have I don't have anything really. I just have like Jeffree Star's makeup palettes. That's it, and they're all old. Well, since you were miraculously cured from all your ailments with that vitamin D infusion that you had, um, maybe you can go start working and you can go buy your own fucking makeup. <laughs> How's that for an idea? What do you think? More cooking videos. No, I'm no, not gonna send it to I like my little, no, no, my little, my little, no, my little cross. No, on my but no, Jason hates septum pierces on girls. Plus, I don't know that. No, mm -mm, that just. Oh, I think a septum piercing would look fabulous on you, Shannon. And then you can look just like an actual, real life human bowl. That will be fun, especially for Halloween. You have your costume forever. Try it. Seems like that would be way too much pain. There's a lot of cartilage right here. Like I had a piercing right here and I hated it. So I don't I don't like the snake bites piercing. I hate that. This is why no one likes you, Shani. Because maybe there's people who are watching that do like snake bite uh, piercings, and you just insulted them by saying how much you hate them. Keep your nasty opinions to yourself. Um. Thank you, Deanne. Japanese pepper is a game changer for dishes. What is Japanese pe pepper? I don't think I've ever heard of that, actually. You get makeup from the Dollar Tree? Um, I wouldn't do that. I definitely would get, get it from, like, Walmart or, like, a pharmacy, but definitely not the Dollar Tree. I'm too afraid to use that makeup. Oh, she's too good for Dollar Tree makeup, but not CVS or Walgreens or the grocery store's makeup. It's all the same makeup, you stunod. It's all the same. Yes, he did. Oh, hi, wise guy. How are you, sweetheart? Big kisses and loves to you. It's just a pep. Is it like a green pepper or a red pepper? Is it spicy sweet? I look pretty and sound a lot better. Oh my god, it's so bad today. I, I I don't feel like I look better, but look at look at my my hands. They're so swollen today. At every freaking joint, I'm so inflamed today. It's incredible. Like I I I've even taken Tylenol PM to try to get this inflammation down, but it's not it's not working very well. 
If you're so swollen, then why didn't your doctor give you a diuretic or like, suggest a diuretic? Why don't you get up off the fucking couch and start moving around and your inflammation will go down? You are just filled with water because you're stagnant. You don't do anything. You don't move off that couch unless you have to go to the bathroom or get yourself something to eat. You have to be more active if you're going to do anything about your body. And that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Some things will never change. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should get Jason to run to the store and get me like some celery because celery is really good for inflammation. Dr. Shani strikes again. Uh, celery contains a compound called lut- lutilin that can prevent inflammation in the brain cells. Okay? Not your hands. Oh, they're black and white peppercorns. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, nutmeg. When kids bring you home crap. You know, that's one thing when you have older kids, they don't like they don't bring you as many germs down like my kids are uh, one year one year okay less than one year and i have an adult excuse you you don't have anything you don't have any kids shining cps took them from you because you couldn't be a good mother and they gave them to a family that will protect them clothe them feed them and put their best interests like their education first not do what they want first Those people are saviors for taking those kids because kids their age usually don't get adopted because they're much so much older. Thank God every day someone was willing to adopt your beautiful children that you didn't even fight for. You had a year to fight for them back. You did nothing. You are shameful. Shameful. How was your mother's day? Oh my God. Do you know how weird that is when you're a mom and you know that your child's about to be an adult? That's so weird. Like, they grow up so fast. You're right. They do grow up so fast. And I w- it would kill me to miss one day of either of my son's lives and watching them grow up. Yeah, it went fast, Shannon, because you never paid any fucking attention to them. You were too busy scoping out dudes online while you were married to Chris aka how you found Rev flirting with G-Man and every single time those children came to you and Rev you said get out filming in process as if you two were anything on YouTube as if you two were doing anything important no you were just turning your nose down to people that had less money than you your karma I love watching you get it I love it I enjoy every second of it and thank god those kids are where they are now you don't have anything you have You used to have two children. Unfortunately, your God-given right as a mother, those maternal instincts just never kicked in for you because you're too fucking selfish and too about yourself to ever think about anyone else, especially your own kids. Shame on you. I'll be damned if I'm going to sit there and watch you take credit for having an almost adult child when you didn't do anything and those kids, kids were found emaciated and filthy. Disgusting, Shannon. You're not a mother. You never were one. <sighs> Zachary's 15. I have a 15 and 17 year old. I mean, it's just like. Weren't you on the lots of camp? Hey, Shannon, what did your uh, almost adult children get you for Mother's Day? Did they even call you on Mother's Day? Probably not. Huh? That's your karma. That's your karma. For selling? What the fuck? Do, do, do you guys make everything up? Like, this one person's like, you're not feeling better at all. It's the meth you've been smoking. It's like, this is not a face of a meth head. Those teeth are the, are the mouth of a meth head. You want to show those teethers? You want to show those teethers and say that that doesn't look like a meth mouth? Because it does. At all. Have you, have you seen meth heads? Does it look like my face is falling off? No, my, my, my skin is very supple. <laughs> God. First of all, I would never take meth. Or crack, 
or any of those things ever. I've seen how people act when they're on it. Um, I see, I, I, I know people who were on it and they become liars, cheats, completely different mentality on them. Uh, uh-uh, not this girl. No, not this girl. You just like pills. You like to get yourself on a, your hands on a good prescription, which is why you're flagged at every pharmacy in the state of Pennsylvania, Shannon. How do I know that, huh? I don't do drugs, just weed. No. <laughs> oh, for swelling! Oh! <laughs> Yes, I am on meloxicam, but it's not doing its job. I've been on meloxicam for like two years. You've been on meloxicam for years and it doesn't do anything, but you think that celery will. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, how come you never mentioned being on meloxicam before? Or did she and I missed it? If you're so swollen and you're on a medication prescribed by your doctor for inflammation and it's not working, don't you think you would mention that to your damn doctor, Shannon? Sorry, I went on that. Like, yeah, I have it. No. This is meloxicam. Yes. Right there. There, There's the pills that I have to take daily to help treat my inflammation. Um, these are my stomach pills. <laughs> so I don't have heartburn. This is my vitamin D. Um, this is my Cymbalta. And then... God, the high fucking essence. And then this is the Gabapentin. You see how big these horse pills are? I'm gonna have to take another one soon and get off here, because after I take this, I get loopy as fuck. So... Then that means that you're taking more than you're prescribed because at 5'11, 5'10, 5'11, and about 600 pounds, that amount should not make you feel loopy or high. You are overtaking your meds to get any kind of loopy feeling from gabapentin. And I know that for a fucking fact. So fact check me, Shannon. Try me. You, you tell me something when I'm on it. I'm, not, I'm just. I'm gone. I'm, I'm in another atmosphere, another world, per se, when I'm on gabapentin. It's just, I, it's just instant fog. Well. Oh, and you also do Delta-8. Well, you can't mix gabapentin with weed, and here's why. But it took me about 30 seconds to do this research. You think she would have done it for herself? It could kill her, but who cares at this point, right, Shannon? As long as you're loopy and high, you don't care. You're going to care someday when you have a very adverse reaction to the shit that you're putting in your body. Oh, 30 minutes from taking it. It's fog the whole day. So you're on, you're, you have me when I'm on. And I just I just wanted to like come on here and just say thank you to everyone. And I love you guys. Yeah, don't they look like suppositories? They're that big. Freaking horse pills. Let me show you one pill of this Cymbalta. It's freaking it's freaking huge. This Cymbalta. Like, hi, honey. Hey, buddy. Look. That's one pill. It's like as big as my thumbnail. This horse pill of gabapentin. But it helps with the pain. What am I supposed to do? Um, you're not supposed to be seeing the face, your face at the bottom of a pill bottle for the rest of your life. You're supposed to go out and start losing weight and eating healthy and exercising and doing what's best for your body because you know damn well as everyone else that you are the size that you are and that's why you have the problems you have. The answer is not in a pill, okay? It's never going to be there, ever. You have to do the work. But like everything else with Shannon, it's easier to take the easy way out and just pop a pill that makes her loopy and feel good than it is to actually do its best for her body. Like, seriously, what am I supposed to do? I mean, the serious pain, it ain't going away. It's chronic. It's always going to be there. And it's like, you have to do something about it because the pain will kill you eventually. And that's my number one fear is like me walking somewhere and I'm just under so much pain that I like drop dead. That's like my biggest worry right now. And I don't like worrying about that. Did you all hear that? She is worried that she's just gonna be casually walking around one day and the pain she endures is gonna be so great that it stops her being her heart and she just drops dead of the pain. 
Have you ever heard something so outrageously ridiculous in your lives? Or are you kidding me? People get, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna flip out. I'm gonna flip out. I'm gonna flip out. Because if you watched what my mother went through, or it goes through, has been going through since 2019, oh, God, oh, there is someone, someone up above looking out for me because I would drive to this location and I would beat the brakes off this person who says shit like that. You're in so much pain that you're just so worried that you might just fall on the floor and die of pain. By the way, people don't die of pain, you stunad. Who died? Oh, 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 what does the obituary say? Here lies so-and-so. They died of immense pain. Like, no, jackass. It doesn't work like that either. Just like it doesn't work with your eight fake bullshit illnesses. If you actually had any of them, you would know how they felt, the symptoms, how to cure them, how to make them better. You're so full of shit. Everything you say is a lie, and it's so infuriating to those who actually have to watch our loved ones go through it or actually have to go through it ourselves. You're so disgusting. Ooh, I'll be making beef shish kebabs for my mother for Mother's Day, then make a cheesecake. Ice cream. (gasps) Cheesecake ice cream. Oh, ask your doctor for perks for pain. No, I'm not taking Percocets. That will make me throw up. That's the problem with me. Is like remember my shorts the other night about how Shiny says that she doesn't take opiates because they make her sick. Let's listen to her say it again. A lot of these painkillers, I can't take because I throw them up. So it's like gabapentin is one of those things that doesn't make me throw up.